In this video, we're going to uh, take you through some of the most challenging questions you can be asked on the binomial theorem. So in this first example, we have to work out an exact value of 4.02 cubed without a calculator. And we're going to use binomial expansions to do it. So the first thing to say is that these two expressions are very similar to one another. In fact, they're exactly the same if we say that x is 0 0.02, because 4 plus 0 0.02 is, of course, the same thing as 4.02. So we're going to expand um, the binomial, and then we're going to afterwards substitute in x is 0 0.02 into it to work out our value. So first of all, let's do this with non-calculator methods. We are going to find the third line of Pascal's triangle. There it is. So we can write that out first. And then we're going to have uh, a is 4. So we're going to have 4 cubed, 4 squared, and a 4 there. Uh, b is x. So we're going to have an x, uh, excuse me, x to the power of 3, x squared, x there. And we are now going to just work this out nice and quickly. So we're going to have a 64. Uh, 4 squared is 16 times 3 is 48. 3 times 4 is 12 and the x cubed on the end. So there's our expansion. Now, now we're going to say let x equals 0 0.02, and we're going to put these values in. So we will have 64 plus 48 times 0 0.02 plus 12 times 0 0.02 squared plus 0 0.02 Cubed. Now, we should be able to do this without any troubles, without a calculator. 48 times 0 0.02, well, that is going to be just 0 0.96. Um, 0 0.02 squared, well, it's going to have a 4 in it, isn't it? Because 2 squared is 4, and we're going to move backwards a little bit on the decimal place. So it's going to be 0 0.0004 times 12 will be 0 0.0048. Now, we already mentioned that 4 squared is 0 0.0004, so times it by another 0 0.02, it's going to have an 8 in it, it's going to be 0 point, and there's going to be 5 zeros uh, and an 8. Okay, you could take your time and do that a bit slower, I'm sure, and get there as well. Right, so now we're going to add these up. The best way to add these up is to do it the old-fashioned grade 5 way and make sure we just line up things carefully because that way we avoid careless errors. So we're going to write these out. Okay, right. So if we add these up, we're going to have 8, 0, 8, 4, 6, 9, and a 64. And there is our answer, 64.964808. Okay, on to another question. This one is pretty tough. All right, we are given that the coefficient of x cubed is 288. What we've got to do, we've got to find this value here, which is a. So to start this off, let's write down what we know. So we could say that um, if we consider a plus b to the n as a typical expansion, then the a in that sense would be 2x. The b is going to be 1 over ax squared, not the same a, so perhaps I shouldn't be using a there, but we'll carry on. Okay, and we've got that n is 9. Right, let's put this into the generic formula for a typical term. Now that is n r, a to the n minus r, b to the r. Right, we've used it before, so let's pop it in. So we know that we've got n is 9. We don't know what r is yet, though. We're going to have 2x to the power of 9 minus r. We're going to have 1 over ax squared to the power of r, though. So r is what we've got to find. Now, we also know what that ends up being because we're looking for the x to the cube term. So it's going to be 288x cubed. Right. So from there, well, let's think about this power of x. Let's try to take out from this expression, from these two places, the power of x and then now that we know it's 3, we should be able to work out what r is. So on the left, we're going to end up with like an x to the 9 minus r. And on the right-hand term, we're going to end up with an x to the power of minus 2r. Minus signs coming from the fact that it's on the denominator, okay? And we're multiplying those powers together to get the 2r. So that 
has to give us an x to the power of 3. So that means that 9 minus r minus 2r must be equal to 3. And if we collect up the minus r and the minus 2r and move it across to the right and take things across to the left, we're going to end up with 6 is equal to 3r. And of course, that means that r is going to be 2. Right, from there, we can then go and put that r is 2 back into the original expression. So we are going to have 9, 2 multiplying 2x to the uh, power of uh, 7 and we're going to have 1 over ax squared to the power of 2 and that's going to be equal to 288x cubed. Now we already know that the x's work out because that's how we chose the r in the first place. So let's just take out the coefficients here and think about the coefficients. So the coefficient will be 9, 2, multiplied by 2 to the 7, multiplied by 1 over a squared. Um, and we know that that is going to be 288. Right, so if we work, start working some stuff out now, well, 9, 2 on your calculator you can find is 36. Uh, 2 to the power of 7 is 128. And how about at this stage, we multiply both sides by a squared and divide both sides by 288. And then we could work out an expression for a squared. So I can do that now on my calculator. If I work out 36 times 128, divide by 288, that comes out at 16, which is a good one because it's a square number, which means that a is 4. Now, going back to the question, I have made a mistake. Can anyone work out where it is? Let's read the original question. Find the possible values of a for the coefficient of x cubed in this expression. Values, right? There are different values. Now, I've found one of them, four, but be ever so careful. Look out for that wording, because if I square root, I could have had plus or minus four, and that will be my answer. Okay.